Hello viewer, this is a video demo on custom video player and I'll explain the features of the video player and other interactions specific to the use case that I got to solve. To start with, I'll reload the page and uh, as soon as the API resolves, it will replace the, uh, the scaffold that is being shown and the page content will be uh, shown on the screen. And uh, you can see the four components here, four main components here. One is video player itself and uh, meeting participant comments and uh, at last overview. So I'll go through each one of them in the same order uh, that I am describing. The video player that you are seeing here is HTML5 video element and it's having a uh, static asset as a media URL and that asset supports range based uh, uh, range based queries. So we can download uh, each chunks whenever required instead of downloading the entire media file in one go. And we also did a POC in HLS uh, for HLS based video player uh, using HLS.js so open source library. Uh, but we went ahead with this approach because our videos are in 720p and we don't want to upscale to 1080p We don't want to set up the media server really with the HLS uh, HL. We don't want to set up the media server. So it is it is uh, It seems much quicker than to deliver with HLS So as HLS is not being HLS or dash has been not considered anymore We haven't opted for any open source libraries like uh, Vito.js or JWL As we can achieve the functionalities that we want using the uh, HTML5 uh, video element DOM APIs as you can see here, the video player is uh, not uh, the video player is not native, and we have customized uh, based on our design system. And uh, for this specific demo, I blurred the video uh, using FFmpeg uh, CLI tool. And uh, this poster that you are seeing here is also blurred uh, a lot. So the video contents are not clear, but it's a 720p video that's been uh, uh, blurred. So we offer these controls uh, currently, uh, play, seek back 10 seconds, seek forward 10 seconds, uh, volume control and uh, playback and uh, full screen. So they also have shortcuts. Uh, the initial video player uh, will not, uh, we haven't supported any auto autoplay feature. So uh, the user has to interact with the player uh, in order to autoplay. So the initial uh, view will be like this. Uh, once I click on uh, play button or click on click here or uh, click on K, uh, press K. Uh, the video will start uh, they can use uh, shortcuts like uh, l or j to skip forward and backward and uh, m to toggle and unmute uh, mute the toggle and also they can adjust the volumes and and beside this volume uh, we'll show the video timeline and the entire uh, the video time and uh, you can uh, user can also select the, the playback speed or they can uh, press on s to cycle between the playback speeds and uh, this uh, is full screen, uh, user can click on F uh, to enter full screen and exit full screen. We also have a use case for chapters in timeline. As you can see here, uh, there is a space between this timeline and uh, each uh, each bar represents a chapter. There are total seven chapters here. And when you hover on this timeline, the chapter name will uh, chapter name on time and along uh, the thumbnail will be shown here. And this thumbnail will be clamped to do plus uh, uh, to the left side plus ten uh, plus ten pixels on the left side, and uh, it won't overflow the video. Like it's clamped between this video. Uh, and we also have this hover interaction. So when the mouse is on top of this video, uh, there is a linear gradient happening here. Uh, and when the mouse uh, leaves the video, that will auto close. And if the mouse is on top of this video controls, uh, the video controls persist. If they leave, uh, if the mouse leaves, it will be gone. So when you went, when a user enters a full screen, uh, the gradient will be removed and uh, there is a background color that's applied here. Uh, if I leave the mouse here for five seconds, uh, the controls will get uh, uh, auto minimized uh, and the mouse will uh, mouse pointer will get disappeared. So if I put the mouse pointer on top of the video controls, uh, uh, the, uh, those will be preserved. The, mouse, the, uh, the video controls won't get uh, minimized. I'll exit the full screen now. That's about the video player and uh, next we'll go to the meeting participants UI. Now as soon as you come to meetings participants you can see uh, there is a timeline here as well and uh, there is a seek stick here as well and uh, this timeline will get uh, will be in sync with the timeline of the video and uh, you can also seek the uh, video from here if you can go to any point of time <clears throat> and the same thumbnail and time will be shown here as well. And we're also listing the meeting participants and uh, beside them we are listing the metrics of the meeting participant user can toggle this on and off uh, based on uh, their choice and beneath each user uh, we are uh, showing a visualization uh, this represents uh, when the user has talked in the video timeline uh, now i'll just show an example if the user want to go to this particular timestamp uh, where this user is being talked 
uh, you can click on there and you can go to that uh, specific time slot and you can listen to the speaker uh, who is talking and you can listen to that <clears throat> after this uh, we are listing topics uh, uh, based on the intelligence collected on this video so user can uh, click on the topic uh, bars uh, they can jump to the timestamp of the starting of the topic or they can use this uh, titles here this uh, this here they can go if there are multiple uh, the uh, the topic problem here occurs in multiple timestamps at uh, at one one minute ten seconds seven minutes and uh, uh, thirteen ten <clears throat> so if the if the user clicks on here it will take the first instance of the problem topic and uh, yeah that's about it and let's move to comments. As you can already see, uh, the user can comment at particular timestamp or react at a particular timestamp uh, uh, within the video and they will be shown in the timeline. Uh, our user can have a quick access to the reaction uh, uh, in, uh, just, below the, uh, just below this video player and also you can click on this. Uh, for commenting, there are two ways. Uh, one is by clicking on here and one is uh, by pressing a keyboard shortcut C. Uh, when, uh, let's say, the video is playing at certain point of time, and if the user tries, uh, if user wants to comment at this time, uh, you can press. So we are thirteen fifteen. We can press keyboard shortcuts. The video will pause, and this timestamp will be uh, written on the submit button, and user can uh, comment anything. Yeah, I'll just comment and submit. And as a submit, we'll just take the user. We'll just scroll the user to the commit. Uh, commented one and these comments are sorted in uh, ascending order of the timestamp in the video yeah and the, this comment use case is specific to uh, full screen but we also have included here but when when we click on this uh, we'll just enter we just replace the video controls with this uh, comment editor uh, the difference between these two is this is in light mode and this is in dark mode it has the same behavior uh, this has the same behavior and we can add this comment and this will be evident in full screen when user enters a full screen uh, the reactions will be shown like this uh, so when user clicks on this uh, it will be here so the behavior will be same cancel and uh, we can also uh, let's say i want to react at this point of time uh, the reaction will be posted now let's discuss about the comments ui uh, that's different right here. It will be a tree like nesting, but uh, only one level uh, just like a slack threads uh, and uh, it, uh, The last two messages if there is if the thread is big the last only last two messages will be shown and user has to click on uh, show more uh, to view more threads The user can reply here. I, this editor is the same uh, just like this editor uh, this editor and uh, these editors are all same And uh, the connect if there is a reply the graph will be shown like this and if there is no reply they are connected like this Beside, you can notice this. Beside each comment, there is a timestamp here. At what time uh, the comment has been uh, established, the comment has been posted. Uh, you can uh, user can click on this uh, comment timestamp. Uh, if they click on the comment timestamp, the user will be taken to that particular timestamp, and the video will start playing from there. Uh, just beside every video, the the timestamp will not be beside replies. So it will be only the parent thread. Uh, here, if they click on thirteen sixteen, the video player will go to thirteen sixteen and start playing from there. And all the and all the all the comment operations like uh, edit, undo, uh, delete. Uh, I'll just I'll just edit this comment. As I'm the owner, I'm, I'll be able to edit. If I'm not the owner, that button will be disabled. So if user edits the comment, uh, the edited button will be displayed here. And also, uh, user can delete the comment. And uh, if he like miss deleted, like he can undo uh, he can undo the deletion or he can uh, the user can uh, dismiss the deletion like uh, the prompt and uh, i'll show one behavior where uh, user can delete the parent comment and child leaves on if i delete this so these are the uh, ui looks like uh, this is an often uh, like reply uh, the, the parent is not there now so this is how it looks now as you can see this uh, same comments and reactions and these same comments will be shown in the this timeline as well and uh, this will auto open uh, whenever we come to let's say this is at 2 1 
so if i uh, the comments will auto open in minus 5 to plus 4 seconds a total of 9 seconds they will be displayed they will be displayed for a total of 9 seconds that to one i'll go to at a time stamp for uh, 152 and i'll start playing from here so if i'm watching a video uh, the comment will auto open at uh, minus 5 seconds and uh, it will auto close after uh, 9 seconds uh, i'll just wait for that yeah and the same thing with replies replies won't show when uh, the video uh, like uh, the controls are minimized uh, so they will only show when the mouse is on the video player uh, the same behavior in uh, full screen as well so replies will be uh, the reactions will be anim will be will be animated let's say the reaction is 8 853 i'll go to uh, 847 and i'll uh, and i'll now uh, as you can see there is an animation uh, happening uh, when the reaction uh, when the uh, timestamp uh, matches with the reaction timestamp and if there are multiple reactions like this so uh, here i just made uh, like three four reactions so it's at 11 5 i'll go to at uh, 11 2 timestamp now if you see uh, those reactions will uh, have a staggered animation which will come one after another and there is one more behavior for comments as well in the timeline so if i want to go to a specific comment i can click on i can go to this space uh, i can go to the timeline this comment and if i click on this comment uh, the right side comment pane will uh, scroll and it will highlight the specific comment that i clicked on and the route will change to that specific comment id uh, the same behavior is in uh, full screen as well uh, in full screen this right pane will not be shown uh, that behavior is to show the comments in full screen itself so if i go to this comment uh, a new uh, a, a new comment uh, screen will be shown uh, this is same uh, as the comment screen but this is in do dark mode the same tree structure will get followed here and uh, the same uh, comment uh, the same uh, if i have if i go to one comment uh, the same comment will get highlighted uh, the comments are selected yeah uh, in this entire uh, in this the entire page that you are seeing i own the ui for entire uh, the four components that you are seeing here this entire page basically and uh, i own the back end for these comments as well and uh, coming to the last part uh, this is the overview uh, this is a static content uh, this is generating uh, we are using open ai apis to generate uh, this intelligence and we, uh, intelligence and we are sending the transcript of this file and we are getting this intelligence so this is like a dummy data I filled in for this uh, use case, for this demo. Uh, user can uh, uh, have this control, like uh, see the summary. If there's more than four lines, they can toggle it. And the timestamp and the subjection, these are all static contents so that will be shown to the user. Uh, uh, that's about it. And uh, there is one more thing. Uh, if you want to see the POC that uh, I have implemented for uh, HLS based uh, video player, uh, this is the open source repo i'll uh, like pin it somewhere uh, this is in vanilla js and it has like a poc like uh, it's in vanilla js important this has a lot, a lot of uh, other controls as well yeah uh, that's about this ui and this is implemented in react js this is in uh, vanilla js uh, thank you thank you